Un día mi padre contaba los ancestrales que le contaban. One day, my father told me what his ancestors had told him first. He said that one day, two brothers got together because they wanted to go to the waterfall. And they said to the father, Dad, we want to go to the tuna, the waterfall. And the father replied, But you have to fast for four days. No water, no anything. And the father kept them in the house fasting for four days. And then he gave them four tobacco leaves and said, Now go. And when you have finished these four tobacco leaves over there at the waterfall, come back. The young men fasted for four days in their house, and they will fast for four more days over there at the waterfall, meaning they will fast for eight days in total. Before they left, the old man told them, Children, do not touch anything you find along the way, neither on the way there nor on the way back, no fruit, no object, don't take anything, just go and come back. And so the brothers set off, and when they got to the waterfall, they spent four days there. Upon their return, they were famished and thirsty. The brother who was walking ahead was named Chetik, and the one who walked behind was named Antun. By the way, there is also a bird called Antun, but I'll tell you about it in a bit. Then, on the way back, Chitik found an egg along the path, and without hesitation, he, he picked it up. His brother, though upon seeing it, asked him, What did you pick up? What is it? The stone, Chitik lied. You shall never lie when you go to the waterfall or on the way back. But the older brother lied by saying that the egg was a stone. However, Antun had already realized that it was in stone, but something Tiatik shouldn't have to pick up, picked up. They kept on walking and stumbling, so exhausted they were. And in one of these moments, Antun said to his brother, You didn't pick up a stone, but an egg. And Tiatik said, No, no, I found an amour. The moor is like the mystery of the earth. And they continued walking, stumbling and getting up. They were really tired, with almost no strength left to return home. When they reached a river not so far from their father's house, they sat, they sat down to spend the night. They were just one day away from their old father's house. On the river bank, famished, they lit a small fire to warm themselves. While they were there, Tietik took the egg he had found and put it into the fire. He roasted it, held it, and ate it. Upon seeing this, Antun asked him, What are you eating? Our old father said not to eat anything. And Tietik replied, No, 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 I'm just biting my nail. But Antun retorted, you are a liar, you are eating the egg, it wasn't stone, come on, show me. Pulling his brother's arm, Antun indeed discovered the eggshell and said, you lied, and who knows what's going to happen to you now. Tzitik didn't respond immediately. Only after a while he said, do you want a piece? To which Antun replied, I don't want anything. And in the early morning, they marched and arrived at the house. Yes, they have already bathed. They spent four days there with tobacco and performed the ritual at the waterfall. Then they returned home. They fasted for eight days in total, four days at their father's house and four more days at the waterfall, with four tobacco leaves. They took one leaf each day, and then they returned with great hunger and thirst. They hadn't drunk any water. Fasting is part of our tradition. The chick found the egg on the way back when they reached the river. When they reached the river at night near their home, Titik roasted and ate the egg, and Tun didn't want to eat because he remembered what their father had told them, which was not to take anything on the way too well from the waterfall. When they arrived home, the oldest sons washed it down. The father asked, where is the tobacco? And the sons showed him the tobacco, all chewed up after days of sucking on it. They handed over the four leaves and the father said, I, I see that you have kept your promise. But Siddiq stood a little and sit up straight. 
and the father noticed. And Antun finally said, Father, I don't think we have done what you told us to do. However, the father had suddenly understood and he said to them, you didn't do what I commanded. And Zitik said, without strengthening up, I did keep my word. Only in regard to the tobacco, the father reproached him, but you didn't about the rest. Antun looked silently at both of them. Then the elder said to Zitik, take the tobacco in your hand. And grabbing his son, he offered him tobacco to inhale. And when Zitik tried to inhale, he choked on it. But as he tried to cough, he started to sing and suddenly transformed into a bird and flew out the door. Then the angry elder said to Antun, You haven't done what you were supposed to do either. If the other one did wrong, so did you. So go away from here, I don't want to see you. The waterfall is not for sightseeing and you have neither kept your word. Nevertheless, when the elder tried to grab his son's arm to kick him out, Antum himself transformed too into a little bird. Antum is a little bird that knows how to walk. It's grey and here it's yellowish and it has a red tail. I saw one around here another day. That bird is called Antun after the Shua man who transformed into that little bird when his father wanted to throw him out of the family house. Antun transformed himself and flew out the door both brothers turned into birds. The message our elders wanted to convey was that if one goes to the waterfall to see Karutam, is not for leisure or for doing whatever one wants. One must not take whatever comes their way on the path, whether it's birds, animals or fruits, because whatever comes your way on the path, as my father told me, is a test to see if you're truly seeking what you desire at the temple. Otherwise, if you eat or drink what you find on the path, you will die. And it's a great test because you travel hungry and thirsty. And if you don't have that mindset to seek what you desire and ignore what comes your way, you will die, not physically, but spiritually. If you don't truly seek what you desire, you won't reach what you desire. My father told me that his teacher had said once, Never, after bathing in the waterfall, go back to check on anything. You have to walk without looking back until you have left the waterfall. In my case, when I've been to the waterfall and walked behind, I've heard noises behind me, sometimes a weasel, sometimes someone laughing. But if anyone looks back, at that moment, they will lose the ability to see what is coming for their future in life. My father used to say that those who look back will always see what was left behind and will always be living in the past, never seeing their future desires come true. That is, that is Shetik's teaching for mankind. The waterfall seekers must go without taking anything they find along the way. That little bird that just sang is untuned. Both sons did what they shouldn't have done. They didn't do what their father commanded. And Tun didn't say anything to his father. And Tun should have told the truth as soon as they returned home. They transformed themselves all by themselves. When they took tobacco, Titik choked on it and transformed into a beautiful white bird that knows how to move up in the mountain top, at the highest point. And Tun is more of a jungle bird. Yes, the father tried to grab Antun, and Antun transformed himself. Because the father had told them, I didn't ask of you what seemed good to me, but what Edza asked of you. Edza told me that you should go and obey its rules. Edza had asked them not to touch anything on the path. But both sons disobeyed. And while this is the message, don't fall or stumble at the waterfall.